going to do seat sewing. Um, first thing you need to do is set up your workbench. Um, you'll need a tub for your rubbish, so have that somewhere nearby. Um, you're going to work from left to right and make sure that your seeds are always separate from your growing media. So I'll lay out my workbench just so that everything's within easy reach but not going to create a mess. Um, one tray, you need, you'll need the equivalent of about three scoops. Just give that a mix through. Okay, you fill your seed tray and you overfill it, but don't pile all your compost on top of it. You're just making sure that all the corners and all the edges are filled. Use your ruler to strike off the excess from the top. So you just do a diagonal line, zigzag motion across the top. Just tap the tree. Use your brush to make sure that you're continuing to work neatly, so move your growing media out of the way. Use your presser board to just firm the compost slightly and give you an even level for the seeds to be sown on top of. You're aiming to leave about a centimetre um, of space between the top of the growing media and the top of the tree. First seed sowing we're going to do is broadcast. You can use this when you've got seeds that are too small to handle with your fingers. And you've got various ways of doing this. Option one is just gently move your hand over the top of the seed tree. The second way of doing it gives you a bit more control. It's just sprinkle them, take a pinch and sprinkle it over. You're looking to get an, as even a coverage as possible. You don't want lots of gaps, you don't want lots of clumps of seeds in one area and make sure you don't forget about the edge of the seed tree. thing you do is cover your seeds. When it's small seeds like that you don't need to cover them very much, just a tiny amount, about a millimetre of cover. If you're doing this for the exam, remember, make sure you only cover half the seed tree. So starting from the outer edge, start shaking your hand so that the sieve is moving and the soil's coming across. and just cover so you can't see the seeds anymore but don't fill up to the top of the tree. Okay, after you've sieved the compost on, you just need to write a label. Make sure the label when you're writing the pointy bits pointing to your right hand. And just write the name of the plant and at the top you write the date. The label then sits in the middle at the back of the seed tree. And the final thing you do is stand the seed tray down, which just means putting it on a flat surface so that you can get water into it. We don't water seeds from above because it would move the seeds about and wash them off. So put them in a tray and just fill the tray with water. And as soon as you see the moisture level at the top of the compost, you take the seed tray out and that's you done. And that's that.